I got my frontal lobe, got my nasal lobe, mandible, and maxilla. I got my temporal, my occipital. Yeah, that's the skull. What? Easy way to remember your vertebrae is to think of the times of day that you eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, 7 a.m., you eat your breakfast. What? You got your atlas in your axis, what? In your cervical vertebrae, that's where the seven is. Now we can move on over to the thoracic. 12 p.m., that's when you eat your lunch. Thoracic, that's what you call them, what? Now we move on down to the lumbar. That's where you eat your dinner at 5 p.m. Uh, then you move on to your sacrum. Then under that is your coccyx. Now we can move on up to the ribs. Yeah, you got 12. Two are floating. Floating. Three are false. Uh, oh. The rest are true. True. That's all. That's all, yo. Mm. Anatomy cloud. Let me introduce you to my friend, Mr. Skeleton, here to help me break it down. With lesson plans, the bone is in your head, that's the skull. The jawbone is your man, the bone. The collarbone is the clavicle, sternum on the rib cage. The humerus is your upper arm, right next to Dracula Spacula. The tag along with the ring is gonna wear in the forearm. Next are the carpals, metacarpals, and phalanges for my wrist game. They come in handy dandy. Next we have the pelvis, the ilum, the pubis, the itchum. They help yeah. move our legs. Run through the puddles, we play in the mud, talking about the leg, ooh, oh so fresh, understand the femur, the upper leg, tibia in the front, fibula in the back, if you think you broke your knee, you broke your patella, tarsals are in the ankle, metatarsals are in the foot, next to phalanges in my shoes, joints are an important part, like the fly, freely moving joint, going in one motion. Hinge, a joint that only moves in one plane. Pivot, that allows one 